Welcome to another episode of Sports and Songs Podcast. We're on season five, episode number 21. Tonight's our songs edition or our music focus for the week. Andy, we have a special guest with us. Yes. Uh, with us Adam Jewell from New Defective is joining us. Thank you, Adam. Thanks for joining, for joining us, Adam. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Um, been checking out your stuff, uh, the New Defective stuff. And I'll, I'm just going to start right away. Dan and I were talking about this ahead of time. Usually when you hear a band, new band, you go, oh, I hear a lot of this group in it. Or I hear a lot of that artist in it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I heard nothing like that in years, which is a good thing. It's not like, <laughs> oh, they sound just like this or they sound just like that. It sounded really kind of original. Same here. I'm glad to hear that. I couldn't pinpoint it. What's a big it, no. influence for you guys? What's that? I'm sorry. What's a big influence for you guys, for your band? You know, I, I think I hear a lot of... Um people say that there's a 90s influence and i think just because of our age you're gonna hear a lot of that you know allison chains nirvana uh also uh pantera Jimi hendrix and the beatles you know stuff like that so we we You there, Andy? Oh, there he is. He's back. He's back. He's back in action. Here we go. Yeah, that was his first. That was his first question here. Um, I was going to put a bunch of images up there. Are you back, Andy? There you go. Yep, there I am. I should be back now. I gotcha, think. gotcha. Yeah, you cut off the right at the end. So he talked about influences and. Yeah, I heard uh, the names. Up. Yep. Okay. Got it. Got it. So um, let just click that there. So you, you have a lot of the, the Seattle sound there, if you will, and the influence. Have you ever heard, um, like, when you guys write your stuff, are you trying to get, it? like, hey, that sounded too much like this, let's change it? Do you ever find yourself doing that? No, no. I, You know, when we're, um, when we're writing, the song kind of, you know, once it takes birth, it kind of has a life of its own. And you kind of do whatever everybody agrees is in the best interest of the song. And we're not too concerned about, Oh, this sounds like that. Or let's, you know, it, something might come up like, Oh, I'm, I'm feeling kind of a John Bonham vibe on the groove. Let's try something like that. You know, it, it might come up in conversation, but um, that's about it. Really. Right. The, the songs kind of write themselves in a way. It's just kind of tuning into that, uh, that subconscious, if you will. Now, do you guys all write all four of you as a team or does someone come in one day at practice go, hey, I was dabbling in this last week or everybody contributes. I'd, I'd say I'm the principal songwriter, um, but it depends on what song. Uh, one of the current songs are writing, I would say, was kind of Phil's uh, could begin with. He's he's the other guitarist. And then we kind of expanded on his original idea. For the most part, I would say I kind of bring the core of the songs and then people write their parts around it. And then we arrange as a group too. That's one of the powerful things. We'll have kind of, here's a verse and a chorus, but we don't have a whole song. So we'll kind of jam that out through arrangement uh, practices and just like, let's try this part here. Or let's, let's try a bridge where it does something totally different. See if we can get back to the chorus. And that that organic process is really how the songs get finished as a group. So, and there's different parts of it. You do your I'm own sorry. producing. And, you do your own producing and stuff, or do you work with the producer? No, we do all our own. Uh, we're recording ourselves. We're producing everything, engineering it, mastering the whole thing. So, when you hear that dangerous effects, the first cause that was mastered by Luke and I from the band. We recorded everything, set up all the mics, wrote everything. It really isn't anybody else involved other than the band. Now, who does your graphics? You got some really neat graphics and stuff that you sent over. Thank you. That's that me. That's you too. That's me for the most part. That Taurus design there, I had some help from uh, Luke. I might give him some projects when it comes to 3D work. And also, we just put up our website, newdefective.com. And he's the web developer for that, but I did kind of the design piece. Yeah, I like okay. the logos. I I enjoy looking at those uh, uh, the work that you've done there on those. Thank you very much. I love logo design. I was a graphic designer uh, before my current job. So, okay. 
I yeah, got into that is. because I wanted to do graphic design for the band. It's really inspired by Tool. Uh, Adam Jones, their guitarist, does a lot of their artwork and their video work. Um, so I was really inspired at an early age to I got to learn videography and I got to learn how to do graphic design so I can do that myself. I don't want somebody else to make an image for my band. <laughs> kind of like Paul Stanley. He apparently designed the logo and went from I that. didn't know that. I yeah, didn't know. I went and saw Paul Stanley in concert one time. That was an amazing show, but I didn't know he designed the logo. And the Kiss logo, I guess, was him. And now he's in the, he, he does art shows for his paintings all the time and everything else now. So, Oh, cool. I know uh, Baroness is another band where their their singer does art shows. You know, like during the day, he's, he's hawking his paintings at art shows and then he's playing at the club at night and then going to the next city. And I'm like, that's awesome. I, I love that. Yeah, that's the dream gig right there. Yeah. You're, not, yeah, you're not working. You're doing your hobbies and your love, and you know that's better. Life is good when you're doing what you love, and I'd say that's where I'm at right now. Even my day job, I I love. I love so. It, so it's not work if you love it. Exactly. Um, the I was looking at your new defective website today, and mm -hmm. being here. Uh, Let me ask you what time because it changed this afternoon. <laughs> it was today at work. Um, I whose think cat this is afternoon, that? Like late this afternoon, it changed. <laughs> Who, whose cat is that you use? That orange cat? Oh, that's my cat, Ginger. Yeah. Okay, that's joking. Okay. That cat I, has I this say my wife's face, cat, like, but now mine. <laughs> he has this look on his face like, take the damn picture. I got things to do right now. You know, he's just got the, the best look, <laughs> <life>, you know. <laughs> just like, I can't be bothered with this. I got things to do. Well, we call yeah. her the queen. Yeah, she can't be bothered. Yes, she had that look too. Yeah, that was really neat. I was really like the website. I'm going real basic, starting just a couple things. You didn't overdo it. So it's pretty cool. Um, We're going to overdo it later, but we, we wanted to start out with some utility. <laughs> now, with that said, I was looking on there um, for – now this is just you guys horsing around. Or, are you going to L.A. and playing a couple shows? Oh, you must have seen the previous version of the website. <laughs> yeah. I saw that and I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, what? I think, I think I, I just had some like kind of filler content on the previous <laughs> website and we just went live like at two or three this afternoon with the new content. Yeah, So we're not playing game. LA anytime soon. We'd love to, but nothing. Because you hit on there, you're opening up for band three and band four. I thought, who the hell's band three and band four? You know? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even sure what you saw there. Then. <laughs> I had you playing at the Roxy and the Whiskey A Go Go. So it... Nice. I'm, I'm not even sure what that was. That must maybe the rainbow, well back. the rainbow yeah. bar. No, we're not playing there. We <laughs> Actually, we don't have any gigs booked right now. We're just taking some time working on recording right now. we got a rehearsal coming up here a couple hours tonight. and Just kind of been working on our new batch of songs. So, Well, now, I saw here also online takes. I know you got nothing else with all your other bands you're in and everything else. Um, Skid Row got another lead singer today. So if you're looking for another job there. Oh. So, uh, Lizzie Hale's filling in for the next four dates, but if you got some time to fill in, Skid Row needs a guy too. That sounds like it'd be kind of fun to see, actually. Yeah, Lizzie Hale'd be a good fill in for that. Yeah, I, I could dig that. They're going to be, uh, they're going to be down in um, Iowa, Riverside, Iowa, May 18th. You know, I, Dustin Bones, the, the shirt you have there, we did a show with Sebastian Bach in Iowa, and that was amazing. He, he's like one of my favorite singers. Yeah, he can hit it. I like him a lot. He, he hasn't lost a note either, if you ask me. I'm sorry? He hasn't lost a note nowadays either. No. I've heard no. a couple people say, oh, he wasn't no. so good. I'm like, oh, bullshit. What were you listening to? Yeah. No, that's fine. He um Now, he didn't do a lot of the writing with Skid Row, but he still sings a lot of the songs. He must have got some kind of deal with them on that one. I'm not sure what the, the situation is, but I just as a performer, he's he's one of the guys I really look up to. Yeah, he he could hit the ballads, the songs. Do you guys? And he can work the crowd and the sound guy at the same time. That's what I'm amazed with. He can point at the crowd, but then also tell the guy that he needs more monitor. And it's <laughs> you can tell he's been doing this all his life. You know, he's just a consummate professional. Now, now doing a lot of the Seattle or grunge songs. Do you guys do a lot of ballads, or do you kind of stick just to the the rock songs, if you will? I'd say most of our stuff is is kind of rocking. We we kind of we go on a journey on some songs, so we might cover a couple bases. But if you listen to the album, I think most of the stuff is, you know, hard rocking music for the most part. With maybe the exception of the last song, is kind of a 
put it on and repeat and go to sleep kind of relaxing kind of tune so i was like the albums you know like metallica where you get like a bunch of rocking songs and maybe one lighter song you know yep. <laughs> kind of give you something to balance it off of so i'd say not we're kind of a long one keep it in What's there that? not too many of the slow songs but one kind of keep it mellow in there yeah, you got to give, uh, what was it, the guy from White Zombie said, you can't beat somebody over the face 5,000 times without giving him a ballad to, you know, yeah. let them know what heavy is. So that, That's right. <laughs> now, like we said, most of the guys we've had on from bands are in another band. They're in two, three bands. Mm -hmm. Have Has New Defective ever worked with, like, Pillar, like you know, Eric's other band? or like? Yeah, yeah, we played, we've got, played a couple shows with Pilla. Uh, Pilla's hasn't been playing much until just recently but i think we played every show they played in the last year so together. yeah so that's kind of neat working kind of with somebody but not really you know it's like you got oh, that eric's been my pal since you know my early teens so we've been finding a way to make music together one way or another so yeah. it's always great teaming up with them that's some of my favorite shows eric's a good guy i've talked to him you know online hearing his stuff and he's one of those guys like right now, he's doing his car. He does not look like a car guy. Okay. Is there any <laughs> secret hobbies you have that you would want to, that people go, no, you don't do that? Well, I think people are surprised by my day job. I work at a seminary during the day, and people are like, man, you're in a rock and roll band and you work at a seminary. If And a lot of people don't even know what a seminary is, it's a religious graduate school. Uh, I work at a church too. So, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. So I'm, I'm I've heard the term. The here. <laughs> I've heard the term. Right. So, on. um, yeah. So that's kind of neat that everybody's, you know, I don't want to say you have that dark side, that other side, you know, everybody's got two different lives. They lead their, you got your music, which is your outlet. You have Light your and shadow. Yep. 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 You have outlet. You have your career. Then you have your other hobby, your graphic design. So you got like three different things going that don't really talk, which is kind of cool. Keeps it interesting. Yeah, it, it. I love life. I I like where I'm positioned here with the bands and the day job, and it all it's synergistic for me. Now, do you guys play just locally here in the Twin Cities area? Do you keep it five state area? How far do you travel when New Defective goes out playing? I we would go on the road, but we haven't gone much out of the you know kind of the bordering state area. And so, and, and we're not looking to travel too much. We really want to we want to record and kind of push our music out via the internet. And I, I know you have to play shows and we love playing shows, but I think we're more focused on writing and recording and instead of trying to find like a tour to go on. And that said, I love playing shows. Right. Right. It's, it's nice to be able to play a show and then get back home at night too and sleep in your bed instead of be at a hotel and you know, you get to sleep for an hour and then it's time to get on the road again. <laughs> I heard Chris Hockey said that years ago. He goes, I just love sleeping in my own bed at night. Mm -hmm. I, don't where the world, I want to sleep in my own bed, tuck in my kids, and just, you know, be close yeah. to home. Who, yeah, it who is came nice. Up the, who it came is. up with the name New Defective? A uh, former band member, actually. Oddly enough, New Defective was a band for people that kind of hung out with my old band that weren't in a band. And they wanted to have their own band, and it was just a cover band. So they just did cover songs. And... I was just kind of involved because they needed somebody to sing. And and the original drummer, um, I think he got a cell phone and it didn't work. So he had a brand new defective phone. And he's okay. like, new defective. He threw that out as a uh, a possible band name. And I'm like, I like that. And new defective eventually ended up taking all the members from my old band <laughs> 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 and became an original band. So that's the name actually came from our original drummer, uh, Stefan Schroeder. Nice. Still keep in touch with the old members. Stefan, I, I haven't talked to him too much. I see him every once in a while on Facebook. Um, no, it's it's been a long time since I've seen him. And how'd you get? I don't have a lot of social time with the bands and the day job and the wife and got to sleep. And <laughs> how'd you meet these other three guys for New Defective? Were you from other bands? You all bumped into each other? Or? Well, there was there was a band that kind of that everybody was in called the Groovin' Bad Blues and Brothers back in the day, and they were kind of an established band. And I I heard from their drummer, who I was friends with, he rode my school bus, you know, and we were always jamming. And he's like, "Oh, you should check out these other guys." 
the group in Bad Blues yeah. and Brothers, and I ended up being their kind of like front man. I was just the singer, didn't play guitar. They had two guitarists. Um, and that was kind of where I met Phil, uh, the guitarist. It, Luke, I should say, he's a uh, school buddy of mine. I've known him since third grade. So I've always kind of known Luke, and Luke had found his way into this band. Derek, my buddy from the school bus, was in the band, told me to check it out. Then I met Phil, and eventually everybody came over to New Defective. Nice. It was a long, Very... twisted path there. but Well, it's kind of cool. You're all kind of, your different friends' circles all kind of grouped together there. That's kind of a cool story. You know, I think Monticello was a great place to grow up, artistically speaking, musically speaking. That's, you know, Eric went to school there. Yep. Derek. Phil, I didn't know Phil, but Phil was from that area too, Luke, and you know, countless other people. The 420 All Stars were from there, if you remember that band back in the day. A um, bunch of metal bands from my high school days. So, and, oh, Menace too. Menace had always been Menace a is from there, in that yeah. area. So, you're familiar, with Me- you're familiar with Menace. Very familiar with Menace, yeah. You've heard of them. <laughs> what, what do you prefer? Do you prefer being the lead singer in this one or like just guitar when you're with Dustin Bones? Is it nice to kind of take that break and be just guitar for a night? Well, everything is everything is different. Um, Dustin Bones has its advantages and its disadvantages. You know, it's, it's nice yep. to not have to worry about singing. And you know, I can eat whatever I want before a show. If you know <laughs> I'm a little congested, it doesn't matter. I only have to sing backup. But I got to bring all my gear and set it up and tear it down. And you know, if you're going a long ways, that can be a lot of extra work. And it's nice to be a singer and just here I am. <laughs> yeah. So that's nice and menace. Um, and then new defective is kind of, you know, you're singing and playing and everything, but then it's like, it's my music. So it feels really effortless playing your own music versus playing covers, but covers are fun, but there's just something different about conveying something that you've written with your friends. That's the best. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't describe that feeling. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. It's, it's cool to see how the songs kind of take a life of their own and change and, how people react to them and uh, having somebody come up and be like, Hey, I was listening to your song. I really like that is one of the coolest feelings ever. Or like I've heard other artists say it's when you see the crowd singing back to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, yeah. You know, that's just, you can't now with, with Dustin Bones, that's different, but with your stuff you wrote and they're singing back what you mm-hmm. wrote, that's gotta be a great feeling. Exactly. Even, even in a Dustin Bones context though, those magical moments with the crowd are just, there's not, anything else in life i can think of that really is like that you know it's oh it's a rush it's hard to sleep after a a great show and a great crowd you just have so much energy that you take on from them and the inverse is true too if it's a slow crowd and there's like nobody out there and no no energy it is just soul stealing (laughs) the longest three hours of your life right there Right. right so but no that's really all i got for you i just you know you talked about the new album now. Is that just on Spotify we can get that? Can you get it online? Do we order it? It's anywhere, you know, so Spotify or iTunes or YouTube, Amazon Music. Any, it, We got a, a distribution deal on that, so it's everywhere that you can find music. You can you can post a video on Instagram and, and put our song in it there if you want. It's searchable there. So really anywhere you find music, you can get new defective. And that's our first album. We're going to be working on, I think we're going to do some singles coming up rather than an album next so got a couple things that are pretty close to getting ready to master um, i like the, uh, on some photo, of that tonight i like the photo shoot there on that album that's pretty cool it you know pays homage there to downtown minneapolis so um yeah good. i mean that's we put that local. out in the midst of the pandemic so it, it really oh, felt like minneapolis is burning down at the time it literally yeah, was it is an interesting shot there with the uh the smoke or the fires or whatever it is, but the nice clear blue background at the same time. Yep. The other no contrast. Image, the other interest. Uh, I like this. Uh, is any of this? Is this AI generated uh, images, uh, Adam, or is this? Um... The the album cover is not the the one you have there. The group shot with us walking on water is. I that like was. That. Um, we were all on like a sidewalk, and I took that out, and I was just experimenting with Adobe Firefly. Okay. And that was one of the first uh, AI images I. Came, came up with. I like it. Very right, cool. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. So there. Uh, and then the other, the last one here I want to show here in this is the. Uh, where is this t- uh, photo taken, uh, Adam? That here was. Home? There's a former power plant, Great River Energy, in in uh, Elk River. Okay. 
and it was getting torn down. And I just thought I was driving by this because I don't live too far away from it. And we were thinking about doing a photo shoot. And I'm like, man, that is kind of a unique space. <laughs> yeah, so we went out and... unique. <clears throat> yeah. It's no, a it's great a... shot for an uh, for a, a photo, an, a band photo. I like the with the wreckage in the background and the yep. and the power uh, <laughs> the power plant behind there. That's sweet. That is the uh, the the cover to our newly updated website. <laughs> okay, okay, got it. That's what you good. did after I looked at it. Yes, <laughs> the new the new update. Well. Glad we could uh, catch you here on the on the very day the new website is released. We'll drive everyone to that. What is the name of that website again? The uh, U URL? Newdefective.com. Perfect. All right. We'll throw that in the links below type thing. Yeah, we'll awesome. throw that in the links. And um, yeah, any any dates, tour dates coming up? Or like you said, you're on a break, right? Yeah, we don't have anything. I, I imagine we'll get some shows booked here in the future, but right now we don't have anything booked. We just kind of been focusing on this new batch of songs. So just taking some time for rehearsal and writing. Good. But you can be contacted through the website if someone wants you to perform. Oh, certainly. Certainly. Yeah. It, it, we're not adverse to shows, but we just haven't been working on booking them right now, but you know, things often just come up. Well, I'm sure yep. we'll, we'll get something here soon. All right. Awesome. Well, we'll have this. Uh, we'll push this out there and help promote the the stuff they've been doing along with the new website, uh, the videos. You know, the videos are well done. Also, that you've got out there, your music videos. Uh, Working on a new great. video here pretty soon too. Once again, the thing I like about the band is that everything's very clean. It's very clean from a production value, whether it's the images, the logo, the video, the songs, uh, the production work, the engineering. I like how clean everything is for an original, authentic, you know, original band here, local band. It's, 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 it's nice. It's refreshing to see. That is very nice to hear. Thank you. Yeah, it is really good stuff. We, we cover, we interview a lot of tribute bands uh, here mm -hmm. in the Twin Cities. And, um, and other than, I think it's uh, Sunflower, uh, Fox, mm -hmm. and the Chicken Leg, uh, another, another band that's uh, authentic, original music that they're, uh, they're, they're doing here. Um, it's nice to see that stuff, so. The only other original band would be Non Grata, so that makes three we've done. Now. Non Grata out of Des Moines, right? Yep, Des Moines, Iowa. Not Non Grata. Non Support Grata. local music. Thank you guys. Yeah, we love it. Yes. Uh, it's all good stuff. I'll try to, to see you guys and listen to their stuff and and pick up the latest uh, uh, recordings. But thanks again for your time, Adam. Um, any other questions, Andy, for nope. Mr. Fuel? That's all I got. Love it. All right. Good luck in the future with everything there. Uh, Mr. Adam Fuel, lead vocals and guitar work on uh, the new defective. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Thanks. Adam. Thank you.